While creating a graphic interface of your project, you will face the necessity of customizing project pages and graphic items. A standard graphic item created by the draw item button is a button with two states which can be changed completely and adapted to your project design. You can find all settings of graphic items and pages in the States tab of the Object Properties window in the Project Overview tab. If you want to change the appearance of one or more states of the graphic item, you can switch states using the States window. Here you can also add or delete a state. After creating a new page, at first you have to assign background to the page. You can select a standard background from Iridium Gallery or you can add your own one. To assign the background to the page, you should select the Put Image to Page Background option by clicking in the right menu of the selected item. With the help of this option, you will add the item as background for the selected page. You can also set up text and color for the page, but I'll speak about them later, describing button, a standard graphic item with two states created by the draw item button. So what properties do button states have? We can change color of background filling, which we can change in the first setting of the graphic item state. The next property, alpha channel, which defines the degree of button transparency. Button can be completely transparent, or you can display a necessary degree of transparency. Here, the fixed value affects button opacity on the whole, its text, borders, and images. Text for the graphic item can be written in the following window. Here you can write any number of symbols, word transferring or without. Then you can see text settings, selecting a font. You can use any font installed on Windows. Now you can see different fonts here. Next setting, color of the text, which is selected randomly with the help of palette. Alignment of the text relative to graphic item borders. Text effects, which enable you to add luminosity and shade to the text. And setting of word wrap, that is when the line does not fit in the graphic item borders, word transferring will be done automatically. Next, you can see settings for working with images. At first, you have to set up a border of the graphic item. It's a frame which you choose in the offered list. Let's set up a line, for example, of 2 pixels caliper. Here we can set up the color of this line too. Then we indicate the image you want to assign to the graphic item. You can add an image from gallery or you can select a new image in the Radium Gallery. In this case, the image is assigned to the item by the drag and drop method and you have to select as images. At that, you set up icon, an additional image. It will be demonstrated over the main image. You can select it from list of standard icons in Gallery or drag it from icons imported to Radium Gallery. While assigning an icon to the graphic item, you have to select as icon in the dialog window. The next setting is aligning of the image and icon. The image can be aligned by any border of the graphic item. We mentioned that chameleon image is a complex type of the graphic item. You can set up the color for it. Chameleon image, you need an image in the PNG format with the alpha channel. In this case, the item will work as following. Uh, 
Red and green image channels will be converted by the item to the border color and filling of the graphic item. For example, we can choose the orange color and as you can see button has changed color to orange. While changing the border color, the whole button changes its color to the selected one. You can find more information about this graphic item type on Nova Wiki. The draw order property is a sequence of displaying graphic item layers. It's usually constant. The next setting tab Properties of image stretching and image filtration on the graphic item. What do we need stretching for? If we have a button of one size and an image of a smaller size, we need to stretch the image proportionally to button size. But in this case, the image will lose its quality. We can select image filtration type, which will smooth out the loss of quality. You can stretch the image with saving proportions or according to the proportions of the initial, initial graphic item. And as you can see, you can increase or decrease the size of any image. At that, the changed copy of the new image will be saved in the gallery, so don't forget to delete unnecessary images after editing the project.